sang beyond the genius of the sea. The water never formed to mind your voice, like a body wholly body, fluttering its empty sleeves. And yet its mimic motion made constant cry, caused constantly a cry that was not ours, although we understood. a mask. No more was she. The song and water were not medley sound, even if what she sang was what she heard. Since what she sang was uttered word by word, it may be that in all her phrases stirred the grinding water, the gasping wind, but it was she, not the sea, that we heard. For she was the maker of the song she sang, the ever-hooded, tragic, gestured sea was merely a place by which she walked to sing. Whose spirit is this, we said, because we knew it was the spirit that we sought and knew that we should ask this often, as she sang. If it was only the darkness, the dark voice of the sea that rose or even the color by many waves, if it was only the outer voice of sky and cloud, the sunken coral the water wall, however clear, it would have been deep air, the heaving speech of air, a summer sound, repeated in a summer without end. The sound alone, but it was more than that, more even than her voice and ours among the meaningless plunges of water and the wind, theatrical distances, bronze shadows heaped on high horizons, mountainous atmosphere, sky and sea. It was her voice that made the sky accused at its vanishing. She measured to the hour its solitude. She was the single artificer of the world in which she sang. And when she sang the sea, whatever self it had became the self that was her song. For she was the maker. Striding there alone, knew that there never was a world for her except the one she sang in, in singing me. Ramon Fernandez, tell me if you know why when the singing ended and we turned towards the town. Tell why when the glassy lights, the lights in the fishing boats, and anchor there as the night descended, tilting in the air, mastered the night and portioned out the sea. Fixing in place in zones, fiery poles, arranging, deepening, enchanting.